Dan there is a city that's been twice completely destroyed and rebuilt. The last time was in the Blitz. Before that was the Great Fire of 1666. And if we could have got this high then, this is what we'd have seen. Of course, this had to be drawn by surveyors at ground level. One of them, the man of 66, had been completely wiped out by the fire and was left with nothing but his clothes and a five-pound note. And then, when that was done, he produced this, the most celebrated, in fact, the first road atlas of any country in the world. This is John Ogilby's Britannia, published in 1675. His life had taken him from selling sequins on the street through nine careers, through wars, revolution, the birth of modern Britain, and arranging the coronation of the king. And John Ogilby started work on this phenomenal undertaking when he was 70. Now that should give hope to us all. But admiration for his sheer energy and originality is not the reason that I became fascinated by his life. This book looks so big and stately, so definitive and encyclopedic that nobody's actually dug into it to see exactly what John Ogilby was up to. This man was the finest producer of map books in England, and he knew everything there was to know about engraving. Now look, three men are at a table littered with geometric and surveying instruments. They're in some consternation, drawing attention to this globe of the world. It shows the words Europe and Africa, but the map is wrong. East and West are reversed on purpose. Now, why would that be? This is a clue to coded information hidden until now. Ogilby speaks darkly of pregnant hints and fainter representations to do with civil dissension and foreign invasion. The mystery begins with the first road in the book. There were standard lists of roads and none included this. Who wanted to go to Aberystwyth? A town with less than a hundred houses and a ruined castle. Terry Jones and I set out to explore the road for BBC Wales. The Nine Lives of uh, John Ogilby is a fascinating journey through the social history of an England in turmoil. John Ogilby, who seemed uh, at home in every kind of social media and who was the indefatigable survivor of uh, every kind of disaster known to man, was nevertheless at the cutting edge of everything he ever attempted. But the Nine Lives of John Ogilby is more than that. It's also about breaking a code book designed amazingly, uh, uh, to restart this English Civil War with the aid of the French. When uh, Alan Revere and I were filming uh, the great map mystery um, about uh, John Ogilby's uh, road map of Britain, the first road map in the world, in fact, um, it gave us the chance to uh, follow Ogilby's roots um, with very surprising results. Thank you.